and is one of the oldest professions in the world. So why are sex workers still fighting for greater rights and acceptance? Now, sex work has dominated the headlines this week thanks to Craig, the Craig Thompson scandal, but while we may have preconceived notions of the sex industry, is that always the reality? Everyone has probably been a sex worker. They've just not decided to tell you. Rachel Watton has been a Sydney sex worker for the past 18 years. There's heaps of things I like about the job. I mean, let's be clear, it's not for everyone, but for myself and for many, many colleagues of mine, we like it for the freedom the flexibility. Rachel works as a private escort and insists she's just an ordinary woman. I'm next to you at, at Coles buying milk. I'm walking down the street. I'm having a coffee at the next table at the cafe. As you can see, there's nothing different about me. And yet people demonise us and demonise our clients. Rachel's been with her partner, Matt, for three years. He says he supports her career. It's the only time that I ever have any kind of sort of feeling about it is if she's got like an extended long booking but I do understand why it happens and there are guys out there who don't have that opportunity and she's great to be with. There are about 20,000 sex workers in Australia. More than half work in brothels or for escort agencies. About 40% operate privately and 5% are street workers. Society has this idea that um, sex perhaps should be free. However, most things in society are entered into some sort of a contractual relationship. Christian Vega has a day job in the community sector. He's also a part-time sex worker, seeing two to three clients a week. It's hard to do a job that you believe in and earn enough money, so, um, so sex work does supplement my income. Christian says the average worker makes between forty and $75,000 a year. He believes his job isn't that different to a one-night stand. Having sex with strangers is a thing that a lot of people do. Like, you know, they go out, they get drunk on a Saturday night, they pick up somebody at a club. For, for us, this is sort of, um, it's almost a time-saving service. Both Rachel and Christian see clients with disabilities. The world would be a really, really sad place for sex without sex workers. So for a lot of people, sex workers are their only form of sexual expression. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with those people. While private sex work is legal in one way or another in most parts of Australia, some states ban brothel work and most ban street work. New South Wales has the most liberal laws with sex work almost completely decriminalised. The reality is it doesn't go away when it's criminalised or our clients are criminalised. We need to recognise as a society it does exist and it can exist well if decriminalised. On Saturday, Rachel and Christian rallied with other sex workers outside Melbourne's Parliament House. They want decriminalisation across all states and anti-discrimination laws to protect sex workers. We as a community have a choice. You know, do we make these people's lives harder than they already are or do we, you know, do we support them? as part of our community. Do we listen to them? Boyfriend Matt, like he, it's hard to imagine being in a relationship and doing that. Yeah, it's certainly a very mature man. He is oh. absolutely neat and secure in his own. <laughs> seems to be a tough one for a guy. They raise they oh. pretty important issues because it's also about protecting whether it's the health and the safety of particularly those women who are sex workers. So decriminalisation, there's a lot of arguments in favour.